Hello, welcome to Automotive Solutions. Uh, today I have got a Vauxhall Vectra 2005 to 1.9 CDTI diesel and it has a no charge complaint. Uh, the battery light is on on the dashboard and I'm just going to do some basic checks um, to make sure we have an alternator fault um, before replacing it. So I'll just show you what I've got here. Engine cover has been removed. Got a battery uh, connected up to my meter. Um, I charged the battery earlier on just so I could bring the vehicle in. Um, so I've got a charge at the moment of 13 volts with a lead on the uh, positive and one on the negative. I'll start it up and uh, see what voltage we get. As you can see, the battery light doesn't come on initially, but it will do shortly. Battery voltage has gone down because the vehicle is consuming electricity and the alternator cannot replace that. So voltage has gone down. I will move positive lead from the battery and put it on the back of the alternator. It's a little bit tricky to get to, um, so bear with me. So I'm on the back of the alternator and it's still showing no charge. I'll just go back to the battery. As you can see it's the same voltage, so the alternator is not charging. So after running for a few minutes, we now have the uh, battery warning light. Now the voltage has dropped down a bit, battery warning light is on. And if we keep running the vehicle, the voltage will just keep creeping down and down until uh, things start shutting down. So uh, this is going to need a replacement alternator. Uh, on these the fuel filter housing has to be moved out of the way to allow space for the alternator to get up. Uh, the alternator is down there, so obviously belt off, fuel filter housing out of the way, um, air box uh, probably out of the way as well to get to the uh, serpentine belt properly and uh, go from there. The alternator doesn't look that old, it looks a little bit cleaner than the, a lot of the surrounding engine, so may have had one in the past. Um, the guy who owns it's had the car a couple of years, so he hasn't had it done. So it won't be in warranty anyway, I wouldn't have thought. And uh, take it off and uh, see what we find. To remove auxiliary belt, 15 mil spanner on the uh, tensioner, middle of the pulley, 15 mil spanner on there. Turn it clockwise and then slip the belt off, release the tension. Okay, finally got the alternator out, bit of a struggle on these. Um, the crash box for the fuel filter which sat there, that's removed. The bracket was held on the back there, underneath the, uh, the wiper scuttle area. You can just lift the uh, fuel filter over that undoing the fuel pipes, just undo any electrical connections on it. And the alternator eventually found its way up through this hole. Um, what I found with the alternator, it is actually uh, a remanufactured one already. So it's been rebuilt, but the pulley on the front on these has, has a one-way clutch. 
So it's designed to rotate one way and not and let the unit free wheel the other way. But this free wheels both ways, which would account for the noise and the lack of charge because this is spinning and the uh, the inside of the alternator is not keeping up with the speed of the uh, with the pulley. So if we wedge the uh, wedge the pulley from moving inside you can see it just carries on turning same that way no resistance there whatsoever this should be a clutch one-way clutch so that's the uh, the failure on the alternator so I'll debate whether to put another complete unit in or buy a pulley and put it on perhaps I'll have a word with the customer see what they want to do to remove the pulley you need <coughs> a uh, pulley removal tool uh, there's a set of these you can get which fits all the different uh, pulleys. Uh, there's a normal uh, thread on this, it's, it's a right hand thread wound onto the shaft of the alternator. So this piece here goes in the splines. This, this is turned anti-clockwise whilst holding the end of the Allen key here which is, there's an Allen key and in there is an Allen socket for that. easiest way of doing these is with the uh, the impact gun that on there there we go so undoing that while you're holding the shaft or holding that and turning that clockwise either way winds the pulley There's a washer in here which I would imagine is to space it correctly and check that with a new one. This is an aftermarket alternator so I've just got to be careful that our uh, new pulleys are the same. So the old one the old one used a washer to bring it out to the correct spacing. But the new one doesn't require the washer. This is just a reversal really. Bearings are nice and free on the alternator, no noise there. So put that on. And now it's all again. This time the other way around. So I tighten that way with this and undo with the impact gun doesn't really need to be massively tight because it's always going to tighten itself and there we have a working one-way clutch now so if we hold the alternator it will let it rotate backwards but try and go forwards and it has to drive the inside the alternator now so that is a fully functional alternator now uh, and you get a cover for it as well keep the water out because that is a bearing in there okay alternator uh, reinstalled in the engine uh, down there new pulley you can see everything's back on just got to put the wiper blade back on and uh, engine cover but we'll try out battery voltage at the moment is 12.7 volts Turn the engine off let's see if our pulley has fixed It certainly sounds quieter. Looks a bit better. Put some load on it.
still holding a good charge. So to conclude, the uh, fault was the alternator, the overrunning alternator pulley, uh, which showed all the signs of a, a non-charging alternator. Uh, but the pulley was just free free wheeling really. So alternator still okay. All that's a pattern one. I think if the car had been much newer, it probably would have been an idea to uh, to go for a, a remanufactured alternator. <coughs> Uh, from uh, Vauxhalls themselves, I prefer the uh, the main dealer uh, parts for the rotating electrics as opposed to the pattern stuff. As you can see from that, you know I'm not sure how long that's been on there, but um, fairly early failure I would think for a, a pulley. Um, so that's just my personal choice. But hopefully, you've learnt something, and if this helps you out with your own vehicle, then. Well, well and good and uh, see you again thanks for watching